All the evidence points to a single conclusion. Physics has never existed and will never exist. I know what I'm doing is irresponsible, but I have no choice. This is the note that physicist Wang Dong has left in the three-body problem after she has chosen to end her own life. Three-body problem is the first book in Xi Xin Liu's amazing remembrance of the Earth's past series. And throughout the book, Wang Dong is only one of many scientists who has chosen to end themselves. As a theoretical physicist, the realization that physics isn't real has made Wang Dong so desperate as to choose death over life. Throughout the book, we are then led towards an answer that slowly explains what physics not existing actually means. This also has implications for real life, as most good sci-fi has. There will be no story spoilers in this video, and I would recommend you go read this book right after you finish the video, as this book is so deep and contains many ideas that will keep you occupied for weeks on end. It has quickly become one of my favorite science fiction sagas of all time, together with the likes of Dune and the Foundation series. Let's imagine for a second what physics not existing would imply. The world would still be around, but just all the theories surrounding it would be false. When they would be tried through the scientific method, they would just consistently fail. This would lead to other chaos, because it implies a different explanation. Like a higher power, a god, or something entirely different determining our physics and the outcome of our world. If you think about it, this is what the world did look like to people just a few centuries ago, before the Enlightenment. But luckily that has changed now, right? For now, let me tell you about the shooter and farmer hypothesis, two very important metaphors in the books. The shooter hypothesis goes something like this. Some sentient ants crawling around on the ground recognize holes in the ground every 10 centimeters exactly. They live their life and this never changes and they think this is a fundamental principle of physics, that there just is a hole in the ground every 10 centimeters. And they never find out that the reason for these holes is a skilled shooter, shooting the ground exactly every 10 centimeters. The second, more dark hypothesis is the farmer hypothesis. In it, there is a farmer that has turkeys. The turkeys are always fed at 11 am. So the turkey scientists conclude that it's a law of physics that always at 11 am food arrives. Then one day, the farmer arrives at 11 am, the turkeys think they're about to be fed and then he takes them all away for slaughter. It is Thanksgiving. Both of these metaphors show to us that what we recognize as laws of physics and that we could test might just instead be put in place by some other force and we could never know. If God or extraterrestrials or something else made these rules, that same being doesn't have to hold these rules as true in the same way. They could be changed. They could be changed by a being like the shooter who is actually indifferent to us but could just choose not to shoot the ground anymore. But they could also be changed by a farmer who is actively manipulating us for his own good. So can we ever know or confirm that we are indeed being manipulated by such a being? No. The answer is no. Civilizations or being that powerful could just change our laws of physics as to make it impossible to make scientific progress beyond some point, beyond which point we could actually confirm their existence, so we could never know about them. This might be happening right now and it is similar to the idea that we're living in a simulation but could never know if we're living in a simulation. However, even if our physics are real, there are still some very easy problems which we as humanity cannot solve. Which means discovering the rules made by beings infinitely smarter than us is very unlikely. The three body problem is just three spheres. And we are trying to predict their subsequent movement according to Newton's laws of gravity and movement, given a starting position. This sounds like a very easy high school physics problem, but in actuality the interactions between the orbits and gravitation makes it so chaotic as to be impossible to solve, even with modern computers, AI and anything we have. So if we can't even decipher such a simple problem, then actually finding out about interference by higher beings would be impossible. So let's return to the idea of other civilizations having imposed a limit on our physics. If that is indeed the truth, then what good is the scientific method anymore? Loss of faith in science, which is currently the foundation for most societies and economies around the globe, would then occur. 
This will inspire change in society, and people will once again start flocking to faith, religions and conspiracy theories in unprecedented numbers. And scientists like Wang Dong, who have dedicated their entire life to physics and finding out the principles of life, will find themselves deadlocked and start killing themselves, because what's the purpose if they, what they dedicated their entire life to is just meaningless now? Because if the high-level physics are being manipulated by outside forces, then logically the low-level physics, which the high-level physics depend on, are also being manipulated. So all our physics are false and therefore do not exist. This and many, many more concepts are talked about in Free Body Problem and it's just fascinating and please go read it. It is truly the thought-inspiring philosophical ideas that sci-fi is meant to be. I'm currently still on the second book of the series, so if you want to see my video on that book, please subscribe and leave a like so you can see that content. If you want to see more content on epic fantasy or sci-fi, go check out my channel. Or if you want to see a similar video on the same concept but with more heavy spoilers, go check out Quinn's Ideas video on the same topic. Thanks for watching.